Hi everyone, Friday here. Welcome back to my SnowRunner Hard Mode playthrough series. This is episode 16. And as I like to say, per usual, we are starting right back off where we left off. Continuing down the path along the mountainside to pick up some more oil barrels. So I'm recording this on Thursday the 24th and all the happy news came out analysis and uh, I'm excited I'm excited I'm really excited as for the mud runner uh, what is it called the new mud runner game expeditions which according to analysis by various smart people and uh, it's going to be a s completely separate game not related to SnowRunner and SnowRunner is going to be continued to be developed so we'll definitely see so based on that why am I being dragged into the mountain or down the mountain I should say So the SnowRunner game is going to be continue to, to be developed. What is this? Continue to be developed. Okay, take three. So potentially based on that, there's going to be a year four. I mean, it's all speculation at this point, but... It looks feasible and I am uh, looking forward to it so as soon as that expeditions mud runner why 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 do you gotta do me like this to back up once. Alright, little trick I learned from JJ. The Crane Master. Alright, let's see. Yeah, once I am able to um, purchase some better tires, meaning the OHD1 tires, which are dualies, this truck will transform into a untippable monster. But for now, we got these little skinnies on here. Uh, we just got to deal with it. With my competent driving skills and skinny tires. So yeah, I'm super excited, completely. This came out of the left field, really. But uh, there was a lot of criticism because people were thinking that the Expeditions Mudrunner game is going to be a sequel. And according to people from Saber, it's going to be a parallel game. But nonetheless, I'm going to uh, put it on this channel as well. We're going to see what kind of trouble we can get into there. Um, you know what? <laughs> okay, well, we're, we didn't tip over, so... Yet. Ah! 
And per usual, right at the beginning of the episode, it's just coming in the nighttime. Uh, I'm gonna have to. Eventually, I will. Again, have some kind of structure to it and. Um, don't tip over, you little booger. No. Of course there are no winch points. Why would there be? Well, if there is going to be, what I'm trying to get at is if there is going to be a year four, I better get cracking on this, huh? Got a lot of content to cover. That's going to be some hard mode playthrough, I tell you. I don't even know why I went this way, to be perfectly honest with you. I should have went the shorter way. I usually just go this way, it's a lot better. They like to fool you, oh this is the road. Yeah, I get stuck there quite a bit. And here, we have ourselves another task. Which makes absolutely no sense if you really think about it, because there is a... Yeah, there are pallets of bagged cement in the water. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do you much good, but... Repair. here hopefully we don't sink One here, one there. Where's the? Th Where am I missing? Where's the other one? Okay, one. Is that it? Oh, okay. No, those are the cement bags. All right. idea. It's 
So yeah, about the great news about the Mud Runner game and potentially being a year four, I am super excited. And I'm also super stuck. Yes, I am. <laughs> Yes, I am. the anchors back dude we don't need the anchors Why do the legs come out? I didn't that. Okay. There's no winch point. There's one right there. Come on, you. Well, that just goes to show you, no matter how good trucks you have, Still get stuck and flip over. I'm just wait. What is that sound? I didn't hook it up to anything. All right. Um. And we're done. You know what it is? I figured it out. Essentially, the last time I did this, I rolled through here with a Tega B. Fully upgraded. I guess uh, you can say that I am not used to the struggle, and that is why I'm making rookie mistakes. So, 
we're going to need to recover this some kind of way. And the White Western Star is definitely not capable of doing that. But what the Western Star is capable of doing, potentially, Long story short, we need a recovery vehicle that not, that is not as tippy. All right, let me grab some fuel here. So we're about to spend a lot of money. And I know I shouldn't. But I will. This is for you, Miss Black. Yep, I'm gonna do it. I need a recovery vehicle, somewhat of a capable scout, and we shall struggle no more. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Welcome to the Glades. If I can just remember. Ah, here it is. Activate. Now this is going to be tough because all I have is a diff lock, but maybe we'll manage, who knows, we'll see. We need to get a move on, on this series, with all the greatest news and everything else, new game potentially new year all right and we're in Michigan we gotta go we gotta go now so let the recovery effort begin. through this so what I'm gonna do let's see uh, you are right there okay so I'm gonna come back around because this is a little easier path than trying to work our way through all that junk and come here I should have never doubted the white western star when I bought that pay star the dark star 2.0 but on a serious note, if once I'm able to put the OHD1 tires, that truck will be transformed. I'm not gonna say, sit here and tell you it's untippable, but it's a hell of a lot more stable. And since this new game is a mud runner game, in the spirit of that, let's introduce a mud runner classic to our hard mode playthrough series here. 
This is going to be interesting. And this is probably a bad idea, but... <laughs> Hard mode is all about the struggle, right? Dun, 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 dun. Now I know there's a bunch of scouts I can go get and a free Tega, and, but I'm not doing all that. I'm just I'm just gonna grab this guy and get out of here. Ooh, lavender. All right. Don't chew it up, because we're going to have to come back through here. Yeah, this will definitely be interesting. So oil barrel mission turned into a special expedition and hopefully it doesn't fail. Because that will be embarrassing, huh? Alright bud, I see ya. Let's just turn around. So uh, we're facing the right way here. It's got fuel. Cool. All right, Big K. Let's get out of here. We're going to Michigan. This way. Okay, we're going, we're going. Relax. Okay, why are you going into the tree? I'm told that this region actually takes forever to complete. It's like a summer amur kind of map but the terrain is a lot easier but the amount of stuff you have to get done here is just astonishing
special expeditions are cool. I was half tempted to go get the all wheel drive for the GMC, but I'm like, eh, nah. See if you can get you through this gate here, bud. Come on. It's like a blind kitten back there. Come on along. Here we go. And we got two grand out of it. Yeah. My favorite vehicle in Mudrunner. I think everybody's favorite vehicle in Mudrunner. I actually like this thing better than I like the other tractor. Oh my. Yeah, let's fix that. What do we have? Nothing. 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 Uh, these will do. Van Boda. Okay, 800. What I don't remember is once you equip this, can you still hook up a trailer to it? So I'm going to leave that off for now. And we're going to put the old Mud Runner paint job on it. That's what color it was. Boom. Retain. All right. I have to go on special expeditions because obviously my driving sucks. But I mean, you got to admit this thing is just absolutely badass. Let's get some fuel. All right, let's stop the engine, erase all the stuff. Where is that? Okay, you're right there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to... Well, I'm debating which way to go. This is a little tight. Lost trailer. At this point, I don't even... Yeah, I, I think at this point it is a little lost. I don't even <laughs> I don't remember where it is. I know I took it with me with the Chevy. All right, let's see. Which, what is the best way to go? I think I'm going to come down here. <laughs> yeah. Too bad there's not much use for that claw. Yeah, hang on to your kidneys, boys. I was actually watching a video on old uh, from Europe where they were doing uh, tractor pulls and off-road tractor stuff and like the old school, old school, like this one here like old Soviet tractors, but they also had like Ferguson's and Ford's and tractors that were from that same era. This thing was just nuts back in the day, like in the real, in the real world with these tires. Dun, 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 dun. We're gonna get a tractor and struggle no more. Unless you flip it. Oh, hey now. Look at all the farming we can do here, huh? Well, I say that was like the quickest special expedition ever. I dedicate this special expedition to Miss Lexa Black. 
let's go down here. Uh, do 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 do, and work our way up. No, th does that even make sense? You know what? I know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna come over here, and we're finally gonna get this thing here. Oh, hang on! Don't go in there. Not yet. Bet you didn't see that coming, huh? Yeah, me neither, to be honest with you. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it is rather slow, but... Whoa, hey. All right, before we crash it. After we just got done fixing it. As I mentioned, I like this... Kirovets tractor better than I like the K7M. I've used both of them to do the farming bit in the glades and I put the K7M in the garage and I just used this. I like it a hell of a lot better. Does this thing have a snorkel? I forget. Scout for real. The good thing is, is that the articulation not only goes left to right, but it also goes up and down, so kind of like the cat which if the see what I mean so what I'm getting at is if that as of Antarctic only swivels side to side which is why it is so tippy engageable all-wheel drive okay, got that let's shut this guy down now I really want to do this whole well first and foremost let's go ahead and stop tracking that and so we don't waste any more daylight I'm yeah let's go get this guy since we have a ridiculously capable V hit wait what oh that's right I need to come down here go this way I'm here. Ooh, what is this? Is that our fuel carrier trailer in question? Let's take care of this guy. So what I was saying is I watched that video on the tractor competition. And uh, this thing was just moving out. I mean... It was a pretty cool video. I don't remember what it's called, but am I going the right way? Yeah, let's just uncover that. So as I said, with all the great news in the Snow Runner, Mud Runner, and whatever else, all of our little communities combined here and I need to get going get this done enough shenanigans
even going the right way here? Yeah. You know what? I've never actually been down here before. Huh. Yeah, the only thing I don't remember is if you can put that maintenance body on here and still pull a trailer. That I don't remember. We'll have to try it out. Yeah, the lights are not the greatest, but it's all good. like a big giant telehandler. And I have I have actually used it for a scout other than water. I tell you what, that thing is amazing. I know no one ever uses it for anything because the controls on the little forklift thing they well let's face it they kind of suck. But I tell you what without those uh, without using the little forklift thing that thing is just amazing. All right, all right, big K, let's go. We got tasks to do, trailers to pull. That a boy. Now the other mud tires, I could buy them, but I kind of like these, to be honest with you. Yeah, they're not the greatest, whatever, but they'll do just fine right here. Or a little mile marker here. No, we can probably let it go. Aha! Is that it? That is the missing fuel tank or the fuel thingy, right? Right? They got fuel in it. Yeah, for sure. Okay, let's go.
So yeah, the White Western Star is currently on vacation in the Belzersk Glades. Um, he did say uh, to let you guys know he said hi. And uh, <laughs> I'll send a postcard. I know I'm being kind of goofy today, but uh, it's all in the name of fun, huh? Do you have a, a little bit too much beer there, bud? Drove your little car in the lake? I know the feeling. All right. No, I'm not going to drag it up. I could, but let's not get carried away here. Except, winch, boom. All right, you, oops. Now, just for kind of giggles, I was looking through some ads on the old interweb I found a 1993 Chevy CK100 step side just like the one you see here in the game it was identical except it was a solid blue um, two hundred sixty five thousand miles on the odometer one owner I mean, what did he have to do, this guy? Go to work cross country or what? Or maybe a 93, so 2003, that's 10 years. Still, that is a hell of a lot of miles. 16 and a half thousand dollars they want for this thing. I have to say, it's very clean, no rust, no nothing. I mean, it looks showroom quality, but still, wow. But it was pretty interesting. I was kind of wanting to see how these trucks, because uh, the old pickup trucks are kind of a wanted thing these days. They're coming back into style and people are just buying them out. All your 70s and Chevys and Ford trucks and everything else. Alright, let's not get lost here. Where are we going? Here. Back up the hill. Alright. Very cool, very cool. I really enjoy this vehicle. I mean, you could buy the claw and actually use use it as a log loader. It's doable. It's just the controls for the little claw. Or I'm not gonna say they're hard. They're just kind of a more of a pain in the ass more than anything, really. In Mud Runner, it was definitely easier.
you can even just like feather the accelerator while in high and it's not going to stall out even with the stock engine I mean I should have just gotten this to begin with and pulled that white western star out with this bad boy huh come on camera put it in high see how we do like it wasn't even there the hill I mean Does it have any fuel? It sure does. Thank you. Here's your pickup, sir. Eighteen fifty. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes this episode. Please join me for the next one, where we shall attempt to rescue that dark star. And hook up a trailer up to this thing and start hauling some stuff. So, thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. Definitely, I hit 80 subscribers yesterday. Amazing, amazing. I would like to thank each and every one of you. Thank you very, very much for all your subscriptions, comments, everything else. I will see this thing through. There is no doubt in my mind. Again, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Until next time, goodbye.